Wo hast du been? Ich bin waiting for you. Ich muss halt mit der Zunge lenken. So it'll be me bouldering today. Ja. Yeah. You also have to film. I will just stay there and talk bullshit like usual. Ja, yeah, like this. <laughs> Should we go in? Ja, jetzt let's, let's go. Let's yeah. go inside. And two axes in the front, two axes over the wings, and two axes in the back. Please follow the luminous stripes on the ground to find your final boulders. Uh, we actually still have to wait. Max is still coming. But you can tell us what's the plan for today. It's got something to do with this amazing background. It is called uh, the Technica Boulder Bundesliga. Exactly, it's Technica Boulder Bundesliga. Yeah, it's kind of like a German competition. It's, it's not an official competition. That means you don't need a license to compete. You can compete as just a hobby climber. Go to your station, you can compete at your local gym. They have also different leagues. They have like sort of a pro league and a, a league that is more for the amateurs. You know, not for example Jan Hoyer, Yannick Floe or me. We can't just go and compete in the amateur league and win everything, which makes it also very attractive for people that maybe don't climb professionally like we do. Technically at every second stop there's a German cup, which is then the evening of the first day of the station, the six best compete in the finals with the prize money. The it's 10 euros, huh? No, no, it's not 10 euros. It's actually quite a lot. I think no, it's, uh, it's, it's more than the IFC World Cups. It's almost as much as not the really. IFC World Cups. This makes it actually very attractive. Because oh, it's my camera. <laughs> 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 no, it makes it very attractive for people to come. And, oh, check this out. Who is coming? Hello. We have our slap master and our coordination master. Yeah. <laughs> so you will test um, the dinos and the slabs. Yeah, that's why. Uh, that's why, <laughs> Max. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've just been talking about how the Volner Bundesliga works. Okay. Yeah. How does it work? The final boulders. Okay. They are just set. Right now, we will test them today. You will test them with okay. me. Okay. <laughs> but like for the Boulder Bundesliga, I would, you would need to like competitions, huh? You just wasted a minute of time explaining me something I don't need to know. <laughs> no, you actually don't need to like. You don't need to like competitions. You just, you just need to love the concept. It's hanging out, you know. It's not like a Friends. hardcore competition. You can come, you can enjoy, you can climb the boulders. So you can take it serious or just have fun. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's cool. It's not so bad, huh? Yeah. But of course, we take it super serious. Yes. That's why we are cheating, because we'll check out the final borders now and then we'll compete in two days. No, joke. <laughs> <laughs> come with me, come with me. So, I assume that the volumes with the branding from the Technica Boulder Bundesliga, those might be the final boulders, but... Max looks uh, really <laughs> happy. <laughs> he can see a jump, a mantle, another jump, a pedal dyno and a slab. It's exactly everything that Max absolutely loves. <laughs> so should we uh, check in with the uh, root setters and ask which the final boulders are? And then go. Warm up a little bit maybe. We are in front of the uh, competition wall. Just got an, an explanation. Let's see if I got it right. We have three uh, boulders for the for the guys and three for the girls. Yellow one is uh, for the guys. And we have blue and white for the girls. Red and black also for the females. And next one black apparently has a mono. That'll be a good boulder for the guys. Turquoise one in the back, girls. And then the very one in the back, the black one. Is the third uh, guy boulder. Wow, I've never seen you like the fresh washed. He is uh, our official Technica Boulder Bundesliga slab tester now. <laughs> because if I can climb it, you can climb it. <laughs> so, guys, warming up. Warming up, let's go upstairs. I have a little uh, warm up parkour ready for you, Max. Modern warm up. Warm. <laughs> the Beast Maker warm up. Always good for the fingers. Warm up. 
one of the bowlers has a mono, so we'll warm up accordingly. Pros out there, if you have a friend and he is a pro and he's sponsored, just use his chalk all the time because you don't have money for chalk, but Alex has free chalk. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's a TheraBand that will help you to do one armors because with TheraBand assistance, it's, it's much more easier, right? It's easier. Yeah. So, what you do is we explain it in our uh, yeah. video. You take the TheraBand in one hand, release and then. Yeah, that's how it works. It's better than ever before. So that's your bowling here? Yeah, um, this is the man one slap. It's uh, supposed to be risky, mm -hmm. less hand moves and more about the feet. The feet are a little bit sandy, so you okay. you need attention to all and ending in a big jump. Okay, so that's the whole of the problem. Okay. I'm not competing. <laughs> you go. Okay. can't even say it's our shoes because he did it in Mad Rock. What's happening here? So, we it's are, the man first bowler, right? Uh, we don't know if it's the first one. We don't know if it's, if it's the first one, but we're testing it. It's the slab. And it's definitely not easy. They're still working on it. I think it's tricky. It's one of those boulders that if you know exactly what to do, it's easy. But if you don't, it's really hard. already knew that Flo is a slab master, but he really showed <laughs> us how good he is. He made the beginning look so easy and it's really tricky. <laughs> yeah, I mean the problem is you, you have maybe two or three good jumps if you manage to start and <laughs> the start takes a lot of time so you don't have too many yeah tries for the for the jump so maybe the jump needs to be a little easier With some little changes, a little foothold change, I think the yellow bowler should be fine now. We'll see. I mean, it's uh, it's always tricky because if you if you get the the solution first minute, then I think you'll be able to do the start quite easy. If not, it could be uh, quite tricky. So we'll see. There are some options to make it easier during the competition, but I think how it is now, it, it's really cool. After about 37. <laughs> <laughs> to make our job a little easier, we thought we'll bring some women to test the women's boulders. Hey, that's a great idea. Of course, it was your idea, wasn't it? Thumbs up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we brought Chiara and Sonia to help us test. Was ist 
deine Idee bei deinem blauen Boulder denn? Ähm, die Idee ist, äh, einen Risky Boulder zu schrauben auf jeden Fall, ähm, mit einem dynamischen Move in der Mitte, wo so ein bisschen ja, die Tür aufgeht, man ein bisschen Fußtechnik, ein bisschen Momentum mitnimmt äh, und oben raus wird es dann ein Aber bisschen kräftiger und am Top hoffentlich nochmal Risky. I think it's quite hard for a, for a women's boulder. I do believe that there are females that can climb this, for sure. I mean, it's coordination and, well, women in the World Cup are really good at coordination. For maybe a local competition, it could be quite hard. Like the Technica Boulder Bundesliga? Like the Technica Boulder Bundesliga, it could be hard depending on who comes. So we might have to modify it a little bit, make it a bit easier. That's a good difficulty. It's definitely not the hardest one of the three boulders, but definitely a lot of things that you can mess up. So a good comp boulder. I'm Robert. I'm root setting today as well, and I had the idea for the female number two. So it's a combination of powerful moves and crimps and slopers, with some like tricky toe hooks, knee bars. So the main idea was to force the move that you go across your left hand, right foot on, left toe hook, and then you have to retain tension, put loose hold and then throw a toe here. And yeah. Nice. Tested so far and looks good. <laughs> uh, second uh, female boulder. A red and black over here. I think that's a good boulder, I like this one. It's uh, not too tricky, just like power. I'm a comp climber now. Yes, but are you still allowed to enter the Frankenjura Academy after this knee bar shitty thing? So we have... We changed our philosophy. We have now knee barring courses. Yep. You can sign up every mm -hmm. Monday and Thursday evening yep. from 7 to 9.30. After from my yoga classes. After Chris yoga classes. We have a specialty over here. We have a Houdini match on a mono. Franconian style. What is a Houdini match? The left hand is in the mono, but you need the right hand in the mono, so you do like a little...
third female boulder. Looks a bit scary. So this is the uh, arch because it's bullshit. Um, starting here, so foot. Pop, pop, pop. So what are you going to do at the next? Um, I'm going to do uh, nothing. I'll probably say take and down. <laughs> I'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> I don't forget it. <laughs> I think we should provide helmets for the athletes, just in case. Otherwise, no further security uh, concerns. Totally safe. <laughs> totally safe. <laughs> done I would say. We tested four or five of the final boulders. On the one uh, male boulder there's only a top hold missing but I think otherwise it's pretty much done. The last male boulder is still missing. I think I'll, I'll say that later and we'll test that tomorrow. Yeah I'm uh, really curious and uh, psyched to see what's going to happen. Female boulder over here. Quite a crimpy weird rock over at the top. I think It'll be interesting to see. I mean, some people will really, really love it and be good at it, some people won't. But I mean, that's, that's what bouldering is. Over here, just behind me, the black, the black male boulder with the Houdini match on the mono. Yeah, that's cool. I hope they leave it. It's uh, kind of unique and usually uh, you don't have things, things like that, so it has to be in the front mirror. We will be back again tomorrow test the rest of the final boulders, check out some of the qualification boulders and then uh, you'll be with us again. for the qualification. In total there are 40 boulders and for each league you have 15 boulders. You have a little piece of paper here indicating for which league the boulder is and it's over here for league 3, men and women. So each league and each gender has 15 boulder problems and you go around in your league, you climb your boulders and then you qualify for the big final tonight. Because you have three leagues, you also have very easy boulders. That means everybody, even if they're just climbing for 
you know, a month or two can come and have fun. And that, that's the, the big advantage of this competition. And even people that are injured can have fun over here. Technica Boulder Bundesliga is for everybody. So we have Daniel over here. Daniel, how long have you been climbing? Uh, since two months. I, I would say it's really for everyone. A few uh, roads are from one month. You can you can do it, and uh, I think they're a really really interested designed for amateur too. And yeah. Perfect. So would you consider also competing in a competition like this? It's really possible. Yeah. So next year we will see you. Uh, yeah, for sure. Want to take part? Go online, create an account, register yourself, and then you can climb with us. Okay.